Now I'm going to show you how to scan the perineal tendons, but I'm also going to show you it on the bottom of the foot, which often is a missed diagnosis. So first thing we're going to do is just pop the probe onto the back of the malleolus and we can see here the perineus brevis and perineus longus. So I'm about five centimeters just proximal to the tip of the malleolus. You can see the perineal brevis muscle belly. As we come round, you will lose contact. So you've got to keep moving your probe because remember, it really is right underneath that bone. As we come round, we keep tilting. There's your superior retinaculum. And then as we come round, we can see the perineus brevis, perineus longus, and then you can see the CFL underneath, okay? And we've got another video for the CFL. Now, as we come down, you can see sometimes there's a perineal tubercle, more common in women than men. This is a male model, so he hasn't got one. And then as we go down, the perineus longus um, tendon will go deep and then the brevis will go obviously onto the fifth metatarsal. Now we're going to concentrate on the perineus longus because this is an area particularly in runners around the cubital tunnel where you can see a problem. Now you cannot follow it all the way but if you get a nice long section and you toe down the probe then you can see the perineus longus. Now the best way of finding the perineus longus under the foot is just to place the probe at an oblique 45 degree angle and all you need to do is go towards the heel and come more proximal and there we go you start to pick up some fibula uh, you can see the fibula pattern of the fibers there. Now I will then fishtail this side of the probe to line up the tendon and we can see this lovely perineus longus and we can feel see it from the lateral side and then you can also fishtail until you see the perineus longus come underneath moving more medially and you can see it attaching on to the first metatarsal remember it does attach onto the cuneiform as well but you can see that perineus longus as it attaches on to the first there a little bit of dorsiflexion just to stretch the tendon there we go we can now see that attachment really nicely onto the first there um, that's great so good luck with that if you want to see some more videos then do join our membership and subscribe to our channel